Hey, Mike Borders of the Mike Borders channel. Today we're working on a reverse osmosis system, a water system. We're going to use a TDS meter, which is a total dissolved solids meter, to measure the amount of sediments and particles or minerals inside your actual reverse osmosis water system, as well as your tap water. On the far left is the tap water from the actual faucet here. In the middle is the water pre-filter membrane change. And then this is the final post filter membrane change water and we are going to grab our TDS meter which is total dissolved solids it's going to measure the amount of minerals and hard solids in your water prior to testing the water it's recommended that you use the water that is post filter membrane change to rinse off the tip that's going to give you a most accurate reading first one I'm going to test is the tap water okay and you can, as you can see here 213 so I'm going to grab my red pen 213 parts per million okay ppm and next I'm going to rinse off the tip of the meter and I will test the pre-filter membrane water sixty five so I'm going to grab my green pen and 65 parts per million. Next I'm going to test the water post filter and membrane change. And again I rinsed off the tip to get an accurate reading. And as you can see, 2. So I'm going to grab my blue pen. 2 parts per million. As you can see there is a substantial difference between the tap water the pre-filter membrane change water and the post-filter membrane change and sanitized system water. This reverse osmosis system really does work. And I color coded them in a fashion that kind of red is stay away from drinking that. The green is not really bad but uh, the blue is pure and clean water. I want to show you on the back of that meter is how pure is your water. As you can see the bottom right corner 500 plus is red. Don't drink that water and then ideal drinking water in the top left 0 to 50 and as the numbers count up you can see how the chart actually measures the amount of sediments and minerals and particles in your water so I hope this helps do me a favor like the video subscribe to the channel we'd love to have you as a subscriber each video we upload you'll be able to watch and you'll get a notification you'll stay in tune with us that would be cool and Attached to this video, you'll see a couple videos popping up. Those are step-by-step -step procedure videos on how to remove and replace those filters and membrane and sanitize this entire reverse osmosis system.